For joining us, our top story tonight at 6, the Fremont County Sheriff's Office giving us new information about five unsolved homicides in the county. The latest just this weekend, just hours ago, we learned the victim in that crime is Cotopaxi man Jonathan Kern. He was shot and killed on Saturday. Now the other death still under investigation, the murder of Loa Kennedy. That happened in June on her rural property outside Canyon City. And as we go down the line here, we want to show you the rest of these homicides being investigated. Kenneth Orchard died in a suspicious house fire in May. John Alderman found killed in February. And last November, the death of Jerry Hoagland found dead on the side of the Arkansas River. This happened in Texas Creek. News 5's Bill Folsom live in Fremont County right now, getting answers from investigators about why none of these cases are solved. Having a little camera fix right there, Bill. Yeah, five cases in this small county, that is far above normal. One of the cases, it will reach the one-year mark as being unsolved in November. Investigators say for that cases and all of the other cases that are going on, there is still active investigation happening. Fremont County Sheriff's investigators say 30-year-old Jonathan Curran is the man shot and killed over the weekend in the small town of Cotopaxi. A deadly crime, but they say no threat to the general public. The investigations unit is following leads, doing interviews, actively investigating it. It is the fifth homicide for Fremont County in less than a year. There are no arrests, and the five cases are unsolved. But we're talking about the Hoagland homicide, the Alderman homicide, Orchard homicide, Kennedy homicide, and the most recent Kern homicide. Family and friends, like the family of 74-year-old Loa Kennedy, want things to happen quicker. The 74-year-old was found dead in her home. They've raised money to offer a reward. It's just that we're working on them and then something else happens. Sheriff's investigators are up front. Five homicides in less than a year is the most they've had to face in at least 20 years. For a small department with a single investigation team, it is a lot of work. There is help from the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. Only CBI is helping across the state, which means processing key evidence takes time. I've seen up to a year and a half and even two years sometimes we wait to get a result back. Investigators want the public to know none of the cases are cold. Active investigation is happening. The homicides are also evidence of a troubling crime trend. Not necessarily statistically that many more cases, but we're seeing the type of them, the severity of those cases has increased. Two of the homicides are individuals who are over the age of 70. That's making people in this area nervous about what's happening with crime. So we asked the interim sheriff what this means for public safety. He says there is no need for panic. This is not going to be spreading like crazy around here. But he also says Colorado is growing. You can't take it for granted anymore. He says you can't. The term he used was Mayberry, that you live in a small town. You still need to be watching out for crime. That means locking your doors to your home, locking your car, and keeping an eye for suspicious activity, whether it's a neighborhood or anywhere you live in this county. Watching out for you, Fremont County, Bill Folsom, News 5. Bill, thanks.